Do you think that uh, this uh, the ball uh, in this match has held well? Obviously, England did not bat that long. And if you, if you, I mean, uh, you you play the pink ball test next. So, uh, how was the pink ball when India last played in India? Okay. The same question for ball was raised yesterday, uh, the last time I was here as well. <coughs> so, I did mention the ball, the seam of the ball held up pretty fine this game. Uh, there was, <coughs> I thought the pitch was really hard the last game. Like, I mean, hard meaning hard. It, be, it had been probably prepared for a year, so it was that hard. Uh, such that I think the ball seam started to, you know, wither away. But this game, it held on pretty well. And your question on the pink ball, last time when we played Bangladesh, the uh, test, test got over in a couple of days. Uh, very little sample size. We've only played two days of pink ball cricket in India. In all, we played, just played two test matches of pink ball cricket. It's too premature to be able to talk, uh, talk talk about the ball. The challenges it brings, everybody knows what sort of challenges it brings. Uh, we'll need to be able to embrace it and get on with it. You set up uh, Ben Stokes in both innings, And, uh, you know, how have you had success over it? Hmm. That's about fans on social media? No, no. The person before that. Oh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, uh, with, with Ben, I mean, obviously, he's a, he's a, we all know that what a, what a fine player he is. Uh, I think it's more about uh, trying to uh, trying to change angles on this pitch. There was there was a lot of deviation uh, from the surface. Uh, if you saw through the game, it's, it was not like some amazing balls got the wickets. It was more the balls that followed it or the mind the mind games that were being played. And people when people wanted to stay positive and play their shots and also have a game plan, things were working fine. So uh, you had to change angles to try and create an edge. There was massive massive deviation. Some of the balls, some of the balls, the ball was just dying on the batsman going straight on. So we had to be a little creative. So, both the innings with Ben, <clears throat> the first innings I wanted to push the ball a little up so that I could get him, get him to play an aggressive shot. This innings also I tried to get him to drive but he was just trying to defend a lot. Uh, so, I thought because he was defending, I, I can use the drift. There was a bit of cross breeze so I changed my loading up and tried to drift it back in. Uh, a a non-turning ball on this pitch could be the more deadly one. So, that's how he got up. Uh, Rishabh Pant skipping in this case match, I mean the way he has been improving uh, as far as the taping is concerned. From a bowler's, from a spinner's point of view, it must be the way he uh, stumped and points also he was completely upside it. It must be, it must be giving uh, the bowlers a uh, comfort level to try more things when he standing behind the stumps, isn't it? Okay, uh, I didn't think I would say this, but I'm coming out and saying this now. Um, <laughs> because you asked this question, I couldn't think of anything else. Uh, about two months ago, we had a cricketer called Cameron Green who made his debut for Australia. And even before he made his debut, every said he's, everybody said he's the next big thing. And as he was playing, uh, I think he got 150 in the entire series. I don't think he got a wicket through the series. Uh, but how much he was built up and how much confidence he was being given in Australia uh, made me reflect back and think about how we as a community treat our cricketers when they come through the young ones. Uh, it, gave me a, it gave me a massive perspective. Rishabh Pant is an excellent cricketer. There are many more excellent cricketers who are there in the squad and are outside the team scheme as well. They are all excellent, excellent cricketers. We believe they are excellent and that's why they end up playing for the country. And when they play for the country, uh, it almost gets like to a point where we feel like, you know, uh, we are searching for what's wrong with them. Uh, Rishabh Pant was always going to be a good cricketer. He was always going to improve. Only if we back them in such a way that they can improve, they will improve faster. But if you are going to find those loopholes and faults, uh, cricketers are going to, you know, take that much more longer. So, I think uh, it's it's a more of a mindset issue for us and I think as a community we should be able to embrace how good a cricketer is, how much. We can, we can see a lot of positives but when we, we tend to choose to see a lot of negatives. So, if we can see a lot more positives, I think we'll see a lot more champion cricketers. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to know if you had any dreams of playing in the T20 World Cup this year considering you were in good form in the IPL and uh, uh, you've been in terrible form of late also. Look, <laughs> dreams are what you have when you're really young, right? <laughs> and you're thinking of what's going to come in front of you. But uh, for me, it's very realistic. It's not a dream. Uh, 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 but I mean, look, the space I am in right now is uh, that I'm enjoying whatever I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, it's been more on the process. It's mean about what, how and when rather than, you know, uh, this, that and there. That's, uh, that's something which can make you chase and make you desperate. Um, there are a lot of cricketers who have done very, very well for India in different formats of the game over the last couple of years. Uh, I've been out of the team for the last three years of, of the white ball format. But every time I've gone on to get an opportunity in the IPL, I've put a very earnest attempt and contributed in whatever way I can. Uh, if the team deems it fit, and uh, obviously I will think I'm good enough. But uh, if I get my opportunity, I'll give it my best crack. Uh, 
final question now. Uh, the final question from Ankita Kriku. She says a lot of controversies were heard about the pitch, but you seem to be uh, you seem to play an outstanding innings on this pitch. With we and Virat supported you really well. What was the conversation going on between the two of you at that time? First things first. Virat was playing very well. I went and supported him. <laughs> it was not the other way around. Uh, look, I think he was showing a lot of uh, steely resolve in terms of you know defending and all that. Uh, so from my side, I just wanted to you know uh, I just wanted to go out there and you know carry out the plans I had in my head. I, I, however, I had practiced for getting into this game, expecting what the pitch might offer to the bowlers. So and also the way I bowled and saw the pitch for a couple of days, I thought this is the way to you know play on this pitch. Uh, I played with a little bit of uh, you know counter attacking streak when I went in. So once I got in, then I sort of understood the pace of the pitch and knew what can be done, what cannot be done, and. Uh, uh, look, you know, if you, if you look, if you look at the pitch, if you look at what what's happening on a ball-to-ball -ball basis, how the batsman is getting beaten, then you would think it's it's venomous. But if you look at all the 40 wickets that fell in this game, you can probably count the balls that actually climbed and took the glove and went up in the air as probably three or four max.